In the last couple of videos, we learned about an eight-step process that allows us to balance electrochemical reactions. And one thing I want you to take note of is that when we go through this process, remember the fourth step was to add protons to balance hydrogen. So in this balanced electrochemical reaction that we saw in the previous video, we see that a proton is a product of this reaction. And as we've briefly touched on in the past, this proton is a general abbreviation for a hydronium ion. Okay, So this means that we are balancing this under conditions where hydronium exists. So this would be how we balance chemical reactions that occur under acidic conditions. Okay, This is notable because not all reactions happen under acidic conditions. What happens if the reaction that we care about is actually occurring in basic conditions? Well, in that case, hydronium and therefore protons are present in such low abundance. And in this situation, we have to adjust how we balance these reactions so that instead of producing or consuming protons, we have to produce or consume hydroxide. Okay, And the way that we approach this is really straightforward. So the general idea here is that if we mix together a proton and hydroxide, we generate water. Okay, So anywhere in our reaction that we have a proton, if we add hydroxide to that, it can become water. Okay, so if we apply this logic to our chemical reaction, if I were to add eight hydroxide molecules onto the product side of this reaction, then those eight hydroxide molecules would react with my eight protons to give me eight waters. Okay, but it's important to note here that if I have, if I put hydroxide on the product side, I also need to add it onto my reactant side. So if I add eight hydroxides to both my reactant side and my product side, the protons that exist in this balanced reaction become water. And that gets rid of our problem for basic conditions. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite this reaction. Okay, so you'll note that when I rewrite this reaction, I no longer include my eight protons or the eight hydroxides because we note that they have reacted together to give us eight water molecules. Okay, So this is our new reaction, but it's not simplified at this point. Because what we can note is that on my reactant side I have four waters, on my product side I have eight waters. So we can cancel out four waters from each side, giving us four waters as a product instead of waters being on both sides. Okay, so just as a really quick recap, if you're asked to balance an electrochemical reaction under basic conditions, protons cannot be involved. So you go through the process exactly the same as we learned in the previous video, but we add on one more step where we cancel out the protons by adding hydroxide to each side. This ends up with hydroxide as part of the reaction, which is okay because the reaction is occurring under basic conditions where the concentration of hydroxide is at a reasonably high level. Let's go ahead and look at one more example here just to reinforce this. If we react together hydrogen peroxide and chromium, we end up with this balanced electrochemical reaction. Okay, So in this case, we see that we have eight protons as a product. But if we were doing this reaction under basic conditions, we cannot have these here. So we would fix this problem by adding eight hydroxides to each side and recognizing that the eight protons and eight hydroxides become eight water molecules. Okay, We can simplify this a little bit by recognizing that I have one water on the reactant side so that will cancel out one of the waters on the product side. So if we rewrite this, we end up with a balanced electrochemical reaction that includes hydroxide as a reactant and does not include a proton as a reactant or a product. 